disqualification. But unfortunately for Bambi and Malia Hasaka in this instance, the Nasty Girls were able to lure them into their trap, and the match ended up as a double disqualification. Now coming up, a single match. Oftentimes we would talk about when a member of a tag team wrestles singles, they were at somewhat of a disadvantage, but not so here, as you had Misty Blue Sims, one half of Team America, wrestling Leilani Kai, one half of the Glamour Girls, in singles competition. From Glen Falls, New York, Misty Blue Sims. <laughs> of the world, and uh, I don't know who I'd pick on this one. I'll tell you the only thing, uh, if our cameras could pick it up, uh, a third element of this match could be the presence of uh, Judy Martin, Leilani Kai's tag team partner, the other half of the Glamour Girls, here at ringside. That's right, Killer. Anytime you've got a, not only a second at your corner, but your world tag team champion partner, it's got to add to your uh, ability and help you to get this match won. Whoa, whoa, look at that. Misty Blue Sim says, hey, I'm only wrestling one, not two. And she says we're through the air trying to see a Misty Blue airmail. Flames out of her work, one out of work again. I'm telling you, this is going to be a good one. Now, there's a, there again, right off the bat, we see the interference of Judy Martin. I don't know, uh, the referee's given Judy Martin quite a lecture there telling her to keep out of this match. Something a little unusual for referee Eddie Sharkey, but Judy Martin very pleased with herself. I think, uh, I don't know, but I think Judy Martin might have handed something to uh, Romani Kai. She's got something in her hand, and she's been using it on Misty Blue uh, Sims here. This Blue has taken a lot of punches in her uh, wrestling career, but that knocked you right down. Yeah, it wouldn't put it past the Glamour Girls, to say the least. And you talk about uh, using the term very loosely. Got it, too. Lonnie Kai. Lonnie Kai. Lonnie Kai's been doing uh, Misty Blue's got that little red headband on, and she's been using that to choke her. There you saw it. Camera caught it right there. You take a look at uh, Lalani Kai and uh, Judy Martin, they're having something back and forth. They're yeah, definitely exchanging something. That goes to show you the ability of a Misty Blue Sims because they shouldn't have to use something like that unless they're afraid. And even though they used it on a Misty Blue, is far from finished. Oh, yeah. Now take a look at this. Wait, wait. This now is just, Judy uh, Martin now holding her hair. This should be an automatic disqualification. Well, look at this. Well, Misty Blue Sure. I know our executive producer, Earl Greenberg, is visibly upset. He's Say, on the edge of the seat. Did you mark down tonight on your calendar, Sarge? Earl Greenberg actually bought us something to drink. we got to circle that day on the calendar. Yeah, it's nice to get a cola one tomorrow. And Misty Blue is coming right back. Judy Martin now up on the ring apron again. She's trying to keep the referee distracted. Miss Judy, look at there it is. It came right out of her hand. It's laying right in the ring, and Misty Blue has got it. Judy, uh, I'll tell you what, Misty Blue, whatever it is, she's got it in her hand. Referee Eddie Sharkey. Judy, team work of Lonnie Kai and Judy Martin. Whenever. Malani Kai got in trouble. 
one of them was, uh, I should say, Judy Mark jumped up in that ring to scratch the referee. Now, I don't know what the referee's decision is. He's raising. He raised oh, it. Oh, guys, man. I think a lot of guys, guys got caught with a four and under. I'll tell you what, I don't believe it. Judy Martin passed it to Leilani Kai all night long. Misty Blue takes it away from her. The referee awards the match to Leilani Kai.